now that the uh, rear apron is off, uh, it looks like the engine removal will be a uh, piece of cake. Uh, we'll see what the reality is, but um, that's what I'm going to be, be doing now is uh, removing the four bolts that hold the engine to the transmission, throwing a jack under, doing that in reverse order, jack then bolt, um, and then labeling the, uh, the wires that go to the coil and oil pressure switch, things like that, so I don't lose track. And then I'm gonna pull the engine out, hopefully. Everything is now labeled. And I disconnected the heater uh, exchange tubes, hoses. And disconnected the two bolts on top. Actually a nut on this side, back in here. Bolt you have to access from this side with a adapter. And then the two bolts, or actually nuts, that are down here holding the bottom side. Man, those were so crusty. <laughs> so it took me a while. Anyway, I had to jack it up. I was really like looking forward to, oh man, maybe I don't need to jack it up. Maybe it'll just slide right out. No, I had to jack it up. Maybe you'd be luckier than I. But anyway, the... Uh, engine is kind of just sitting in here and I'm just going to pull it out. So my phone, which I film with cut out, had too many videos and, um, I just, you know, that's why the break in the footage here, but anyway, it just kind of popped right off of the, uh, the transmission there. So, now, theoretically, it should just come right out. Theoretically. There it goes. I am sold on removing the rear balance. That was the easiest engine pull on a VW I've ever done. So, thanks for watching. Uh, next step is getting things cleaned up.